Yeah, good morning, Teresa. It's pretty chaotic here in the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. As you can see, people are waiting in line trying to figure out exactly what's going on. We actually just spoke with um, a couple of men who are from Idaho, and they said that they pulled their rental car up. The rental car um, worker basically told them, make sure you keep the car because you don't know if you're going to be able to get out of here. Their flight was delayed and they say that they are going to just make the road trip back home because their flight wouldn't get them there until Saturday. And that's like so many other stories we've been hearing this morning. People trying to figure out exactly what is going on as flights have been grounded across the world. So now people are getting hotels. Um, and a worker here at the airport told us that flights have been grounded here since around five this morning. Now, like I mentioned, these groundings are happening at airports around the world. It's all due to a massive IT glitch. Representatives for CrowdStrike said this morning the issue is not a security incident or a cyber attack, but rather from a security update. The glitch also hit offices around the world, delayed some athletes from arriving in Paris. The outage grounded flights and hit offices, like I mentioned, around the world, and they delayed some athletes from arriving in Paris for the Olympics as well, according to the Olympic organizers, but has not affected ticketing or the torch relay. So like like I mentioned, people are trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Uh, we will continue to keep you updated on air and online as we continue to get more information. For now, live in the Gerald R. Ford International Airport, Elena Cusino, News 8.